Hello everyone, it is Mr. Sneaky here with a new video. Today it is combat tips, so stay tuned for everything you need to know for the open field combat. Hello everyone, so it is me, Mr. Sneaky. Smash a like, comment and subscribe for more Call of Dragons daily content here first on the channel. So today we're going over some combat tips. So the first one I'm going to show straight away is setting troops. So when you set two marchers up, so your primary and secondary, you can save them up on the top bar by hitting a little green arrow. And by doing that, it just makes things a lot quicker. And then by doing so, it allows you to move your troops and summoning your troops and deploy your troops so fast. So the main tip I'm gonna show you today, as you can see now what's on screen, is when your alliance or you know your friends are all bundled together correctly, all on the edge of the like alliance territory. By doing this, it allows you to hop between different cities really fast. It gets you to go from A to B. And if you're really fast at doing it, as you can see on the right side, the way it works is as soon as you see your march going from the blue flag to um, like green marching, you know they're on the field. But as soon as you see the blue flag again, even if that march looks like it's on the field, the game just hasn't updated. So it allows you to just drag and then go to the next city. And city hopping is so efficient, especially if you're cavalry, as you're going to see now. It lets you just get from A to B so goddamn quick. And by doing this, it allows you to set up for like future fights. So as you're going to see soon, and hopefully you're going to see some open field combat. And by doing what I've done here, I've set up the troops where I need them to be to take advantage of positioning mistakes of the enemy, right? So, I'm going into the city. This cavalry player couldn't get to me in time, but Ukraine showing off an amazing mechanic of intercept. So, if, as you can see, your Ukraine walked in front of my archers, the cavalry unit would have to fight this infantry unit before he could reach my march. He doesn't just get the right to walk through. And that's a very important mechanic you need to learn. If you are struggling with that, the Dragon Trials does teach everything you need to know about combat mechanics. So just go through the Dragon Trials and complete the extra stars. And by doing so, you're gonna learn how to intercept, how to be blocking your units correctly. And as you can see now, we're going to go into some open field combat. My cavalry units are moving so fast. This guy probably hasn't even realized I'm already on top of him. And by doing so, I'm able to get a really good, decent charge cycle go going. And my artifact, as you can see, I don't use it straight away. I hold it until I'm past the patrol. And by walking past the patrol, I'm not taking aggro on it. And by not taking aggro, I'm not taking an unnecessary damage that I don't need. So just, you know, be wary when you're using artifacts in open field combat. As you can see, I've still got another three to use on my other marchers. And you're going to soon see that coming into action. So as you can see, the POS dropped a big bird. And this is a great opportunity to now take advantage of the positioning mistakes of the enemy with my range units. So as you can see, I'm very far up. One player does see the archers out of position but this is where awareness comes and my awareness pulls my march away and my infantry unit as you can see now intercepts he tries to go onto the mages but it's too late because i've got so much damage already applied to him he's just mute i didn't really take much damage from that you know exchange and now I can continue going forward. I tried to use the archer artifact as you can see, but it was out of range, so I cancelled it. And now we're in the second, if you want to call it, stage of the fight, the mid game of the fight. And again, now I am looking for a really good juicy target to use on this archer march. And now you can see two line up perfectly, and I hit two, killing the Elena and delaying the Madeline's artifact skill. Because I don't know if you know, Viola's bow, when you do activate, it does deal a little bit less damage to compared to the Shadow Blades, but it gives you utility by delaying the artifact usage of, 
you know the enemy and as you can see now i reposition my units again to make sure they're not targeted and then i immediately retarget that march and as you can see all my marches are nice and decently healthy about 50 percent each being able to take control of the open field getting three kills and now it's just a simple walk back and reset so i hope you enjoyed it that is the open field combat just small so skirmishes obviously you can see giant murder balls that's going to come soon as well and if you've not seen any of my older videos there's loads of murder balls on there of big open field combat as well but this is showcasing i hope you know the combat system is what you want and it's not like Rise of Kingdoms, it's a little bit different. So that is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Smash a like, comment and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.